We now return to Let's Play Afterlife. Things are still going pretty slow here. Pretty slow indeed. Well, your spiffiness. Hell's population has reached 50,000 souls. Truthfully, this is a laughably simple milestone to reach. But the powers that be have decided to reward you with this ugliness engine anyway. Try not to break it. Okay, so we got the reward structure here. Uh, it is very unlikely that we are going to ever get them in heaven. Uh, what with heaven not existing anymore, but I doubt that I will get to them in the other one. Uh, which is unfortunate because I would have liked to have put that uh, whole story together. Let's see, who needs it? Probably in this corner. Let's put it out. Well, wait a minute. If I was going to put it in an area... This one. Uh, so like right here, I guess. Skegfod, the ungrateful demon. Yeah, at some point in time, uh, as the story progresses, Skegfod gets kicked out of heaven. Uh, he just upsets the powers that be by uh, making his inventions. So anyway, chapter one. Being kicked out of heaven had done nothing for Skegfod's attitude problem. Hell? Don't make me laugh, he roared. Why, this is a veritable walk in the park compared to heaven. As he spoke, phantasms of 33 unspeakable tableaus waved, wafted into view. Within seconds, a horrible crunching noise began to be heard as thousands of damned souls dug out their own eyeballs rather than witness the horrible visions. You call that a phantasm? Skegfog mocked. Good grief, I've seen worse things in a Polly Shore movie. You want to scare... Uh, you want scary, I'll give you scary. A few months later, Skegfod cut the ribbon on the ugliness engine, an infernal machine that made everything around it really, really bad for the eyes. The powers that be shook their collective head. Here we go again. <laughs> there was uh, someone on YouTube who actually had some afterlife videos where all of the rewards were done and they managed to get the love domes and all that. Uh, unfortunately, they took all their videos down. I think they closed the account. Otherwise, we could see all of the story. Or could at least point you to it. Recently, I actually saw a video I think it was the French version of the game, and uh, some guy had managed to make both heaven and hell completely covered with trillions and trillions of souls in each, and it was just amazing. Okay, pink is about to be a problem. Covered in bad vibes, though. The vibes work differently. Obviously, in hell, you want bad vibes everywhere. Uh -huh. 
Okay, we've got a little bit of a darkness here. Yeah. Just a little bit. Oh, that was the, uh... That was probably the place I influenced. This could go a little bit faster. I'm actually kind of surprised here. Nothing is expanding. I know there's losses. If they would go ahead and hurry up. Uh, damn it. I don't know what's keeping them from evolving. It's actually getting on my nerves. structure is right here. There's no reason for it not to be evolving. Except maybe that it's unempowered. That could be a problem. So... I guess I can just make a road right here. should be powered, yeah. Oh, good. Finally. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in. Even though we've already got way too many now. Anyway, the structure is Ignorance Ain't Bliss. The lustful souls that populate these quiet cities want for nothing. All of their needs are provided by an unusually helpful demon, or by unusually helpful demons. However, the price they must pay for their comfort is ignorance. When they acknowledge the presence of any other being, powerful electric shocks are sent through their bodies, teaching them the error of their ways. In time, the tortured souls learn to walk around with their heads down and their hands in their pockets, lest they inadvertently make contact with another soul. should be slowing down now. We've got a huge bit of it. Blue is coming next. And, uh, I don't have another structure to put out there. And the rate we're going, we're not going to have one for a very long time. I guess we've got 70,000 now. Did this devolve? I think it did. Terrorville has 25,000. Nope, it actually increased. Uh, the carousels of greed. I did read that. to hurry up and get to some of the more interesting stuff. We're keeping pace with the Embos on the planet. There's 43,000 Embos living there. 77,000 in hell right now. Surprisingly, this has not spread. save. And we're going to do demonically fast for just a little bit. Until something happens. Okay. Disaster strikes the planet. 
first tribal conflict. And it looks like something here is about to evolve only into something we've already got. Ah, but we did get a couple other things now. We got the complaint departments. Typically, proud souls don't believe that they belong in hell. For those deluded fools, hell was built these... <sighs> hell has built these complaint departments where they can file their grievances. Unfortunately, everything must be filed in triplicate, with blood samples and notes from your mother, and so on and so forth, in a never-ending cycle of humiliating bureaucracy. I wonder if that means that uh, Orange is coming in now. Yes, and Yellow is about to have problems. So let's look at Yellow. Uh, the shock market. Did I already do the shock market? I think I did. Hopefully one of these structures will evolve before we start losing souls. Uh, we've also got green, I noticed. Oh, wait a minute, there it is. Although a lot of these green ones aren't even full, I mean, they're just empty zones. Hmm. Wait, what's this? Bad parties. Do you remember that party where all the food ran out and everyone started eating the frozen urine samples? How about that outdoor barbecue where it rained and all the guests got... Uh, all the guests caught pneumonia? Good. Now how about the party where the roof caved in and crashed, crushed 34 people to death? Do you remember that? Great. Now put all those atrociously awful parties together, raise them to the power of Google, and put it in your scrapbook of cherished memories because you still haven't come within a galaxy of approaching the lameness of these never-ending parties. We got something else too, which is stickies. No, oh, no, no, no. I've actually read that. What I haven't read, though, is Soylent Yellow. As eternal damnations go, this one wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for A, every now and then you get tossed into a meat grinder and compressed into a little yellow wafer, and B, the only thing to eat are these icky yellow wafers with bits of hair and bone in them. Okay, I'm gonna do a rebalance real quick, and then shit. Hell is freezing over. is exceedingly annoying. Uh, we are losing souls or something. I'm losing two souls to something. Wow, luckily... Now, unlike Heaven Gets the Blues, you can destroy the ice. Um, I'm not sure if that actually does anything to speed up the thawing process. Uh, let's look at a frozen bit of hell. Once in a long while, little pieces of hell freeze over. No one's sure why this happens, but many demons attribute the phenomenon to honest politicians, surprisingly strong dramatic performances by Madonna, and the occasional Rose Bowl appearances of Stanford and North Northwestern. Yeah. And the uh, snowman in hell. When hell freezes over, most of the snow can be removed with a quick little lightning bolt. When demons get it into their heads to build snowmen, though, there's trouble afoot. Snowmen in hell just can't be moved, no matter how hard you try. You'll just have to wait until the next thaw. Yeah. Okay, well, again, I'm going to balance. Okay. I have no idea how long this is going to last. Sometimes it's very short, sometimes it takes hundreds of years. So let's do another demonically fast. Now we're missing out on... Okay, we got 
Plenty of that. We need to stop this real quick. We were losing out on brown, and I think that's because this area is not yet thawed. Uh, okay, I can turn this off, apparently. Yes, and I now have 20,000 idle demons. Damn it, I was afraid of that. That's okay, though, because we don't have heaven, we don't have to worry about it. Okay, and immediately... I got the uh, three by for yellow, which is Discord. Nothing brings out the worst in people like a never-ending round of office politics, which is why Discord is the ultimate punishment for avaricious souls. The damned all start in the Discord mailroom, then spend thousands of years backstabbing, butt kissing, and sleeping their way to a cozy vice presidential position, only to be t to be demoted back to the mailroom by Discord's capriciously whimsical demon CEO. Well, now that that is in place, I'm kind of tempted to uh, move this. In fact, I think I will. And I'm going to move it down here, where it will begin influencing green. And that should cause all kinds of problems with the vibes from where I just left. Now, once again, it is unempowered. Okay, so this is actually putting out very bad vibes. Good. So it's taking care of some of the vibes itself now. Oh, got a new one. Elevators, Inc. are the equivalent to the Bluebirds of Paradise. Elevators, Inc. These... you know what? Good grief. It's way too loud. It's an annoying thing, too. Um, now, the ugliest ugliness engine... Oh, good grief. Okay, okay, just hold on. The ugliness engine would get rid of them. Uh, they don't seem to be... We're losing 4,000 souls? Good grief. Okay. Elevators, Inc. These strange, towering skyscrapers are made up almost entirely of elevators. Crowded, stinky elevators with deafening, piped-in music. The envious damned are free to move about from elevator to elevator, but each new elevator is more crowded, stinkier, and louder than the previous one. Rumors of an express elevator to heaven abound, but no one's ever seen it. And I think we just got Bob's All You Must Eat. At these buffet-style restaurants, patrons are encouraged, by cattle prod-wielding demons no less, to go back for seconds, and thirds, and thousands. And millions, you'd be amazed how much you can cram into a body before it explodes. Okay, so... I need to uh, expand this. Um, okay. Well, these are still not evolving. And now I'm tempted to move this over here so it will evolve, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Oh wow, right away it just evolved. That's great. We're still losing souls? Yes, we are. The E. coli shack. Two words. Cow sushi. Alright. Now is this going to work? Will we have enough for everyone now? Or 
Orange has been filling in the generic zones. It'd be great if I could turn this into the 4 by. Oh, and it just evolved again. To the not-so-divine comedy clubs. The good news is, there's no cover charge to hear the worst stand-up comedians in all of creation. The bad news is, there's an infinite drink minimum. And the demon bouncers won't let you leave until you've finished. Well, uh, I might need to move this back over there, actually, so it starts influencing these. Hold on a minute. Alright, I've placed it right in the midst of it all. Let's see what happens. Not much. In fact, it'd be better back over here where it is affecting these. <sighs> Damn. Well, we're gonna run out of space in brown soon, and blue, and orange and green. Uh, we still got 7,000 idle demons. And we have yet to make profit. Great. Uh, people are starting to believe only in hell, though. Slowly. Uh, still relatively virtuous. This one city... Which isn't even the most populated anymore. I should spread that here, actually. Oh, more losses. Okay, well, we've reached that point. Missing out on green. It devolved. Ugh, this is a mess. Alright, well, I'm going to stop it here. I'll see you next time.